Hey, man. Are you ready to punch in your Studio One session? <laughs> Hey man, if you love my YouTube channel, then you'll really love the Wavy Seals Elite. The Wavy Seals Elite is a membership group that offers you way more than you can get on YouTube. Not only do you get one-on-one -on -one communication with me at least once or twice a week through our live lessons, Q and A's, but we also have multi-track practice sessions, two-track practice sessions. I'll be bringing along other experts because I don't know everything. So every month we have monthly masterclasses where you get to learn from an expert in the field. We give each other feedback on mixes and help each other problem solve issues in the studio. As a member of the Wavy Seals Elite, you'll also get access to an amazing community of audio engineers and producers who are all learning and building with each other. There's two membership opportunities for the Wavy Seals Elite. You can choose monthly or annual membership. If you're ready to take your skills to the next level and really grow your career in audio production, the Wavy Seals Elite is what you're looking for. Oh, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Wavy Wayne from WavyWayne.com. And if you don't know yet, man, this channel is all about comedic relief, along with, uh, <laughs> along with helping you to record and mix a little bit better and faster in Studio One, man. Let's just go ahead and jump off into this session. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm having too much fun today, man. If y'all having fun today, hit that like button, man. If you love yourself, hit that like button, man. If you think you cool, hit that like button, man. That's all I want to know. All right, so basically punching in is when I record a part of a performance, maybe it's not completely perfect. Maybe I messed up on a word or phrasing, and instead of doing the whole thing over because most of it was probably good or at least usable, instead of doing the whole thing over, I just want to replace a certain section of it, right? So that's what punching in is going to allow me to do in uh, Studio One or any doll that you might be in, but specifically uh, Studio One today is what we're going to be focusing on. So um, first, I'm just going to start off by recording a little short performance, and I'm going to show you two ways that you can punch in. One will be a manual way, and then another, it will be an automatic way, and then I'll tell you which way I like to use more often all right so here we go let's go ahead and start off by me trying my best to uh do a rap performance here we go yeah it's wavy uh get paid in the off season all that beef i'm not vegan they used to call me young heathen i keep that heat is not season uh oh. All right. So I just messed up, man. I was supposed to say I keep that heat is op season. Let's just hear that back and we'll hear where that mistake came in at. Uh, getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen. I keep that heat is not season. Oh, man. It's not season? What the hell does that even mean, man? One way that I can punch in and punch out is just by simply using whatever button I use to start my recording. And in this case, I'm using number three on the numeric keypad. That's because I went up to the Studio One menu up here and went to preferences and made sure that my, I'm sorry, not even preferences, go up to that Studio One menu and choose keyboard shortcuts. And I have assigned my keyboard mapping scheme to match Pro Tools. You know I'm a Pro Tools user, certified Pro Tools instructor. If you want to get certified in Pro Tools, you can come on over there and you'll be amazed at how learning Pro Tools will actually help you in Studio One. So I'm actually using my Pro Tools shortcuts here. And so I'm using number three on the numeric keypad. Uh, to actually start my recording. You can use any button on your keyboard to actually start your recording that you want to, as long as you assign it in the Studio One keyboard shortcuts map. All right, so that's, that's that, all right? So basically, I'm just gonna play this from the same section and as I'm punching in, it's important to do this, whether you're an artist yourself or if you're working with the uh, artist, you want to make sure that they start to rap or sing along with the performance that's already there so that once you do punch in and start recording at that certain spot that you want to replace, it already has a natural flow and feeling. And it just don't seem like they came out of nowhere with this new section. All right. So let's hear uh, what I got. Uh, get paid in the off season. All, All that beef, beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me young heathen. I keep that heat. Uh. not season. All right, cool. I had to remember what I was saying. I keep that beat. I keep that heat. It's op season. Here we go. Uh, 
getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me Young Heathen. I keep that beat, it's not me, bitch. Uh, <laughs> Alright, so I messed that up. I'm just gonna hit Command Z to undo it. I keep that heat, it's op season. Let's do it again. Uh, getting paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. They used to call me Young Heathen. I keep that heat, it's op season. Yeah, and you just hit that record button again to stop or punch out uh, wherever you are. So that's what I just did. I just punched out right now by hitting uh, the same numeric three button. And there's, again, other shortcuts you could use. So that's one way to create a punch in, an automatic punch in and punch out. I could get even more freaky with this to where um, I could literally just grab one word. Let's see. Uh, getting paid in the off season. All that beef. So maybe on all that, I just want to replace replace that. Watch how fast I can punch in and punch out. Uh, get paid, paid in the off season. All that beef, I'm not vegan. You know I'm op eating, right? And then I can start and stop it, right, at any time. All right, let me show you out another way that you can actually punch in in Studio One. Now, this is going to be an automatic punch in where you would create a range, maybe have like a selection. And what you would do is say, hey, I want to replace this part. You can come right up and create and draw out a loop now as long as the loop is not active if it was active and lit blue there then it would just repeat that section all right y'all so after you've set your loop range and made sure that the loop is not active what we're going to do now is just go down to our transport and turn on this little button right here that says auto punch right so it's right up under the pre-roll setting we want to turn that auto punch on whenever that's turned on i won't have to manually punch in and punch out of this section um studio one is automatically going to know to start recording me once we get there and stop after that that way i can maybe grab an instrument step up to the microphone if i need to or whatever and not have to worry about the punch in range because it's already been predefined so right now i'm just going to go ahead and hit record my numeric three and watch how studio one reacts season all that beef i'm not vegan you know i'm no, eat, 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 not keep that heat is op season right so you see how we only replaced the section where we had our loop range super key uh very um useful especially if you're recording yourself and maybe you need to grab an instrument or something like that that can be super super useful for you all right, child, man, like I said before, there's just not enough good Studio One content online for you, and I would love to be the resource for you. So drop down in the comments and let me know what more do you want to learn? What kind of tasks do you want to do in your Studio One sessions? And I'll do my best to make some videos to help you out along your journey. I'm Wavy Wayne from wavywayne.com. Check out the website. Maybe pick you up one of these Studio One templates that are designed to help you record and mix better and faster. Be dope, y'all. Thank you.